Hey, what's going on guys? This is The Savvy Expert where we talk about real estate all over the globe, but especially here in the Philippines because I currently live in the Philippines. So today I have a special video for you because we are gonna be talking about what $100,000 buys you in BGC. Whether you're young and wanna live in the city or an expat and are looking for a place to live in the Philippines, this video will give you a good idea of what kind of options are out here in the Philippines. So without further ado, let's get into our first condo. All right, as you can see, your first condo here has a price tag of 5.1 million pesos or in dollars. 105 grand and it's at the Viceroy residences. Now keep in mind that the majority of condos on this list are studios and one bedrooms because to be honest with you, a hundred grand isn't gonna get you an exclusive four or five bedroom penthouse in BGC. So these condos are perfect for one person, a couple, or a small family. Nevertheless, there are many mediocre looking condos for a hundred K, so I meticulously picked out 10 condos that were around the price range of a hundred thousand dollars and did not look like a a rat hole. <laughs> Anyways, getting back to the first condo on our list, you have a studio for 23 square meters of space. And as far as square footage, that's 247 square feet. So you don't get a lot of space, but one of the reasons I chose this condo in particular is because number one, it's fully furnished, and two, it's located in McKinley Hill. And McKinley Hill is set off to the side of BGC, so you're not in the heart of the city, but you are located near the Venice Grand Canal. And like I said, this condo comes fully furnished, so as compared to the other condos that are listed for 100 grand, this looks a lot more like a home. As you can see, you have a stove, a TV, a refrigerator, a dining table, a pool, and a nice bathroom. And I gotta say, making a small space like this look cozy is not easy, so whoever furnished this place did a great job. And before we get onto condo number two on this list, please give this video a quick like, not only for the YouTube algorithm, but also so that you can save this video onto your like playlist, just in case you decide to buy one of these condos. Did you like the video yet? All right, on to condo number two on this list, we have another one bedroom, one bathroom at the Viceroy Residences. Now this one is 4.5 million pesos, which is around $95,000, which makes this one of the cheapest condos on our list. And this condo comes fully furnished with 27 square meters of space or 290 square feet, which makes it perfect for one to two people. And I like that this condo comes along with all of the necessities. You have a decent sized bed, an updated bathroom, a refrigerator, a dining table, and a TV. And so you can decide for yourself if you think this condo is worth $95,000. As for me, I think you can get a lot more for $95,000 in other areas of the Philippines. But then again, if you wanna live in BGC, you decide for yourself. But comment down below because I'd really like to hear your thoughts on this place. Now as for condo number three, you have another studio for 5.5 million pesos at the Grand Canal. This condo is also 27 square meters or 290 square feet. And unlike the other two condos, this one does not come fully furnished, so it's a blank canvas. Notice that you have a little stove in the back, a minimal bathroom, a gym, and just the living area. And just giving some ideas, the most practical place to put a bed in this condo would probably be in the left corner, and maybe you can put a TV somewhere on the right side wall. And honestly, especially considering that this condo is more expensive than the other two condos, it's not fully furnished, you have the same amount of space, I don't think you're getting as much value out of this one. But nevertheless, I decided to add this on the list just to give you an idea of what some of the options are out there. Now, for condo number four, we have a two-bedroom unit for 5.5 million pesos, which in terms of price is pretty much the same is the last condo except this one you are getting much more space and what i like about this condo is that it was built in 2020 and it's 40 square meters of space which is almost double the amount of space as the other three condos that we looked at what i don't like is that the location is located a bit outside of bgc so you'd either need to walk or you need a car to get to the heart of the city but it is still into gigs and looking at the pictures that is not a hallway that is a mirror do not be fooled by that when i first saw the images i actually thought that was a hallway for a second but no that's a mirror now from the looks of it this is a model unit so this will give you a decent idea of how you could possibly furnish this condo so you have your dining table a refrigerator and a counter in the back and then you have your first bedroom which is nice and updated and you can see in this picture that you have the tucked in lights coming from the ceiling which adds a nice look to the condo then you have your second bedroom and again, this is a model condo, so you can furnish this place however you'd like. So maybe if you live by yourself, you can make this an office or a guest room. Then here's your bathroom, which is very updated compared to the other condos. Here's the kitchen area. It has a backsplash, a sink, and a stove. And here is a general look at the living room area, which is a cozy size for a couple of people or a very small family. Here's your amenities with the gym as well. And then this is what the outside of the condo looks like. And then here's a simple layout of the condo. 
So that was condo number four. And I think that we can all agree that if you're accommodating more than one person, this condo is much more ideal than the other three on our list. Now, as for condo number five, we have a 6.5 million peso studio located at Fifth Avenue Place. As far as space, it's about 36 square meters or 390 square feet. And you're probably wondering why this condo is a million pesos more expensive than the others on our list, although it's only a studio. And the reason why is because as you can see in the window view, the location of this condo is much closer to the heart of the city. And I have to mention that this condo does come fully furnished. Along with your purchase, you get your queen size bed, a couch, and a dining set. And of course, lastly, we have to mention the view. Not only do you get the greenery from down below, but you can also see the high rises from above. And then you also get a view of the pool. Now at condo number six, we have a one bedroom at Fort Palm Spring for 5.5 million pesos. This condo is a one bedroom, one bathroom with 37 square meters of space or almost 400 square feet. And as I was scrolling through this unit, I thought to myself, there is no way that this is 400 square feet. But according to the description, this was originally a studio and they just installed a wall and made it a one bedroom. And it's funny because as you can see, the bedroom is an okay size with nice windows, but when you realize the lengths that they went to wall up the bedroom from the living room, it's absolutely hilarious. I mean, just look at this. The living room has basically just turned into a hallway. I've never seen that before. When you're watching TV, your face would practically be smushing against the screen. But hey, those are just my thoughts. What I mainly liked about this condo is that it's located near High Street, which is a major shopping area in BGC. And I also like that it had a balcony with a skyline view. Lastly, according to the description, the title is clean and the association and property taxes have been paid off. Now for condo number seven, lucky number seven, we have the biggest condo yet the most expensive condo on our list. And that is a two bedroom loft at the Fort Victoria. And the Fort Victoria is in a good location. As a matter of fact, it's located kidney corner to a Mercedes Benz dealership. So if you're looking to buy a Mercedes, this might just be the right place for you. And I added this condo to our list because although it is quite a bit more expensive than $100,000, you do get much more space in a better location than all the other condos on this list. As you can see, this condo is a two bed, two bath with 46 square meters of space or about 500 square feet. And the first thing that we have to talk about is the floor to ceiling windows. Granted, the ceilings aren't that tall, but it lets in a lot of natural light into the kitchen. And you can see that you also get a decent view of the city in the back. Then you have your first room, which you can see comes with some closet space. You also have your walk-in closet. You have your built-in induction stove and a convection oven. You also have an updated backsplash, which makes the condo look more like a home. Then there's your stairs, which likely leads to your second bedroom. Then here's your second bedroom, which has a nice view behind the curtains. In your second bedroom, you have another closet and I believe across the hall, another bathroom. So from the pictures, you can get a decent idea of the layout. And as with most lofts, there's another bedroom upstairs. And out of all the condos, this is the best condo in terms of size, the location, and how updated it is. And as you can see in the amenities, you get access to a gym, an indoor spa, central air conditioning, and much more. Now onto our next condo at number eight, we have a studio at the Venice Luxury Residences for 5.9 million pesos, which is about $120,000. And off the bat, you'll notice that this condo is located near the Venice Grand Canal Mall. And getting into the studio unit, as with most studios, you can see that it's pretty small. And according to the description, it's 40 square meters or 430 square feet, which I highly doubt because it actually looks smaller than that. Anyways, the condo does come fully furnished with couches, a bed and a table. Here's a view of the outside from the balcony. And the bathroom looks relatively in good condition. And what's nice about this place is that it comes with a lot of amenities, including a tennis court. So if there's any tennis lovers watching right now, this might just be the place for you. Just be prepared to play without a net. Seriously, I, I, haven't, I know, I don't know why they would have a tennis court without a net, but I don't know. Next, at number nine, we have a one bed, one bath at Forbeswood Heights for 5.9 million pesos. Now, as you can see, you're only getting 36 square meters or about 390 square feet, which isn't a lot, but the great part about this condo is its location. Now, Forbeswood Heights, try saying that 10 times fast, is located near Burgos Circle, which they have many high-end steakhouses, bars, and the very Instagrammable Burgos Circle itself. Aside from location, another nice part of the condo is that it comes fully furnished. You can see that you have a simple living room, 
TV, couch, and bedroom. And honestly, I think that this is actually a studio, but because they added that little wooden wall right there, I, I guess they just called it a one bedroom. For the most part, the studio is furnished nicely, but the only drawbacks are the kitchen and the bathroom. It looks pretty outdated, but let me know what you guys think about this condo as well in the comments down below. But anyways, guys, so that is what $100,000 can get you in BGC. I hope based off of these 10 condos, you got a basic idea of what you can get in the city. On putting together this list, I was a bit surprised, but at the same time, I wasn't because I thought you could get more for 100K in BGC. But then again, it isn't cheap to live in a condo, especially in one of, if not the nicest city in the Philippines. And between you and I, if you were only to spend $50,000 more, you can actually get a significantly nicer condo. Yes, the difference between paying $100,000 and $150,000 makes a pretty big difference. And that is why I'm gonna keep up the series of what X amount of money buys you in BGC. So if you wanna see what $500,000, a million dollars, and so on buys you in BGC and other areas in the Philippines, please be sure to click that like button so that we can grow the Savvy Expat platform. And while you're at it, you could financially support this channel without a dollar leaving your pocket. All you got to do is hit the subscribe button and by doing that, we get closer to our goal of a thousand subscribers to monetize the channel, therefore allowing us to push out nicer property deals for you to capitalize on. And so thank you for watching. I'll leave all the links down below to each of these properties and I'll see you in the next video.